Russian propagandists are starting to flee occupied Crimea fearing for their lives. Local Z writer Platon Bezedin stated in his Telegram channel that informed sources are recommending that he leave Sevastopol since the city is expecting big and difficult events in the near future. Bezedin hints that war-related events will cover Sevastopol. The propagandist did not directly state what exactly will happen in the near future, but in the comments under his post, people are seriously worried. Bezedin claims that the Russian occupation administration will not be able to help the civilian population, so they better take care of themselves. But I will say, dear Sevastopol and Crimean residents, take care of yourselves, please. Take care, especially now. And remember, the situation, unfortunately, has been developing for a long time now in such a way that only you can help yourself. But also remember about your neighbours and loved ones. The city is on the eve of big and difficult events. Strength to all. We are on the eve, he writes. The occupied peninsula has been repeatedly targeted by Ukrainian drone and naval strikes, forcing Russian forces to withdraw much of its naval power and strengthen its air defences. Ukraine is making it increasingly difficult for Russia to hang on to illegally annexed Crimea thanks to an ongoing campaign that's targeting air defences, rail links and water connections. The peninsula's air defences have also been degraded with constant attack. Russian Federation occupying authorities in Crimea have consistently suppressed freedom of expression, including by members of minority cultures and identities, and severely curtailed the freedom of religion of minority groups, particularly those opposing official narratives, most notably the Medleys. The space for civil society to operate, criticize or advocate has considerably shrunk. Media outlets have been shut down, disproportionately affecting Crimean Tatar and Ukrainian communities, their rights to freedom of expression and access to information, and to enjoy and maintain their own cultures and identities. On Paramusher Island, the Ibiko volcano ejected a column of ash 2.5 kilometers above sea level. This was reported by the Institute of Volcanology and Seismology of the Far Eastern Branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences. The explosions raised ash from the Ibiko volcano to 2.5 kilometers above sea level. The ash plume extended 5 kilometers to the east of the volcano, the scientists said in a statement. The video of the natural phenomenon was published by the public page, Phobos. Natural Cataclysms and Disasters, on V-Contact. An orange aviation color code was also issued, seismologists warned that the volcano's activity was dangerous for local air travel. In August, Ibiko was already waking up. The volcano ejected a column of ash, and witnesses noticed the formation of a new crater. Ibiko Volcano is located in the northern part of the Vernadsky Ridge, 7 kilometers from Severokurilsk. It is a complex stratovolcano with several summit craters. The volcano previously erupted in 2012, then there was a period of calm that lasted until October 2016. This is considered normal activity for the volcano. The record emission was recorded on August 31, 2018. Then a column of smoke shot up to a height of 6 kilometers.